What is up guys, it's Mortz here from Section Store once again and today we're going to be having a look at this influence section right here. I'm going to show you what it actually does. It's not just a normal text block. If you give the page reload and scroll over to the section, it's going to do this little loading animation right here. I think it's quite a nice effect and it's definitely going to keep the customers on your page and I'm going to show you how you can get it. For this section, you're going to need an app called Section Store. I've already installed it. You can easily find it in the Shopify App Store. It's a component library with over 100 fully customizable components. As you can see right here, we have a bunch of different categories and three sections as well. So you can just tweak around a little bit and all of our sections are fully customizable. All right, let's look for the one I was just speaking about. It's the influence section. The app itself is completely free, but our sections do sometimes come with a one-time charge. This one has a one-time charge of $9, but that means if you bought it once, you can own it forever. So no hidden subscription fees, anything, no developer costs, and nothing else. So at the end of the day, I think it's a pretty good deal. Head to the home area after successfully getting the section, and then just add it to the theme you're using. In my case, it's the Streamline theme, but it works on every theme. All right, sweet. After we've done that, we can open up the theme editor right here. I've already done so as well. So that's the one you saw in the beginning of the video. I'm just going to get rid of that one. Let me scroll down a bit. That was the one. Remove the sectioner. And we're going to start from scratch again. So we're going to add the section. It's called influence text. Another thing you can do is place two next to each other, but I'm quite happy with how we did it already. You can even add different numbers and anything, but I'm just going to get rid of that one. First thing I want to do is leave the 100% there, but we're going to do some exchanges like we saw in the beginning. Okay. Let's do success rate with our product. And then we could technically add some content as well. As you can see here. But uh, we just want to have another button. So we scroll down a little bit. Try it yourself. And then we're going to add our product as well. So we have that one right here. And now I want to do some changes to the colors. So the heading color is actually supposed to be something like that. And I don't want a white, I want the same looking blue tone. I'm just going to go here, scroll down a bit. And I'm happy with the look of that. Then I want to change the color of the subheading. That looks nice too. Get rid of the border color. Perfect. And now I want to give this thing a little background too. So we're going to set the background color to maybe blue as well. And now I want to have the font in white. So the contrast is better. It's quite nice already. I can save it up at this point and just have a, another look at the block itself where we can decide if we want to have some gaps that only requires if you have two of those blocks and we can give the sections in background too and some inner paddings are possible to do as well. All right, that is looking pretty sweet already. The last thing I want to change again is the background color of the button so it's gonna be this one yeah perfect that looks fine like it just didn't save on the last one perfect and now we're gonna give the whole thing a little reload that's the one you saw in the beginning of the video let's try that out and if we scroll down we will see the one we just did and that's looking good i'm happy with that i hope you are as well and if you're Always feel free to leave a like and a follow. Definitely helps us to keep up the animation to build more sections like that. With that being said, have a good one, guys, and peace out.